Oh, it's time to go. I think there was a threat. It was a mass mobilization on par with any army. The Facebook and Twitter verse were, were going nuts about it. Crazy how much communication got out. 14,000 students plus another 3,000 staff and teachers out in 15 minutes. Well, there's a bomb threat. That might or might not exist. How about you, sir? Do you need any money? I'll hook you up like a tow truck. <laughs> and she joins us live now in South Fargo with the latest on this. Christy? Hey, Steph, as you can see, no matter where you are, you're probably on camera. I'm only a few blocks away from the station, and although we're using our Skycam, that's probably not the only camera I'm popping up on. There are many businesses around this area that have security cameras that I might be on. But stories I talked with today said it's not just how many cameras, but also the number of angles they can catch you. And it's not just Leo Johnson who says he's had his packages tampered with. We've had reports from many people who say their boxes have been open and their letters have been slit. But where is the tampering taking place at? Is it here at the post office or is it your neighbor next door? Behind these scenes, all these moving parts leave a lot of room for imperfection. They ultimately find their way on the screen. It's part of the charm of film and part of the push to go digital. Key to a successful museum goes beyond preservation. What is that thing then? It includes education. I was going to say it looks like a radiator. Because it's not just what people see. And I challenge you to stump your... Uh, your tour guide. It's about creating memories. Just about any airplane here, I, I could probably tell you something about it. Here in the valley, it's not the street corners where you're going to find your prostitutes. Rather, it's online at websites like Fargo Backpage and Craigslist. But times have changed. Okay, we got everybody. Command a tactical. Everybody's yeah. best protected live ammo. Armored vehicles have made way to your backyard. Our immediate action vehicle. Used by these trained officers known as the Red River Valley SWAT team. After fire surrounded her town and threatened her home at Carlson Healthcare Center, she and 11 other patients were taken to Kitson Memorial Healthcare in Hallock. Seen on the 3500 block of 30th Avenue South in Fargo with reaction from people living there. Jen? Andrea, good evening. To see just how fast that car was going, take a look at this broken wood here. It totaled this garage. Luckily, there were no cars in the garage at the time, but I spoke to people who live here in this apartment complex, and they say when the crash happened, it sounded like an explosion, and they expected things to be a lot worse. It's easy to see why expectations are so high among North Dakotans. The amount of money the state has is impressive. In fact, if you do the math, $1.6 billion, which is the state's budget surplus, divided by the state's population, roughly 700,000, works out to $2,300 per person. Oh, get close. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Like I walk around all day thinking of lyrics and putting different words together. It's just something that I like to do naturally. Hey, calm down, man. There's a lot of songs that get played all over the state that never get any airplay here. What do you want to eat? You know, so that kind of makes it difficult being a hip hop artist. You tell me how you feel, all I really care about is. Cass County Sheriff's deputies aren't the only ones feeling the heat of this shortage. Sportsmen and hobbyists also have ammo in their crosshairs, and it's leaving sheriff's deputies in training with an empty chamber. The Salvation Army says they're afraid they're going to see even more people seeking help as of Monday because legally in Minnesota, heating companies can shut people off, leaving many out in the cold. And when life seems to have lost all its color, these nurses spread a touch of home. You want lemonade, you want lemonade. The drinks have been poured. Come on, stop. That's good. And now all six-year-old Addison Dietrich has to do We wish there was people in a line right here. Hi. Is wait for the customers. How much is it? Yeah, I can afford that. Do you want a lemonade and a popsicle or just lemonade? They're trying to raise $25,000 to pay for another dog. And while that may seem like a lot, when you can smell this tiny bag of meth from way back there, it basically pays for itself. And such a big gap for such a small number gone. But whatever they have left, they have this pulling them together. Us being able to like share this moment with each other is really special. In a school, like a family, love makes you greater than the sum of 
have your parts. Really, through men.